Previously on Terriers. I'm Hank Dalworth, and this is my partner, Britt Pollock. We're private investigators. How long you and Hank been partners? A couple of years. I know what you were involved with before he came around. But you gotta know he is gonna let you down. Are you getting married again? Yeah. Congratulations, Gretch. That's, that's great. That is, I'm really happy for you. I've seen this place empty. Just like it was when we first moved in. She's selling our old place, and I'm the one who's buying it. What about the loan? You need proof of a loan to close escrow. I'm working on it. And this is called a shawl collar. Very elegant. This makes me feel like Hugh Hefner. Uh, uh, let me try the other one. Sure. Now, this is more like it. Great, what next? That depends. Did you want to wear a pair of trousers to your wedding? I think I would. Follow me. <laughs> sorry about that. I am that. so sorry, excuse me. My fault. Here's his wallet. I was buying a tuxedo. What? I said he was buying a tuxedo. I didn't know people did that. I thought they just rented them. What's Maggie you want with this guy anyway? You know, she didn't really say. It was just kind of like standard background check stuff. Yeah. You know, I didn't really get into the whys and wherefores of it. All right, great. Go for it. Can I get you anything one minute? New ascot? Plaid jammies? You know, my sock garters are beginning to sag. I didn't want to say anything. Hey, isn't it bad luck for you to see me in my wedding dress? Only if you see me, silly. You pick out a jacket already? Mm. Need one more of those. <laughs> Hey, man, you want to go grab something to eat? I got an hour before I have to do the uh, thing at the thing. Sure. Man. <laughs> what? Nothing. It, just this, well, this this guy, Bible Talks. What? Yeah. Unbelievable. What? When I went back to her place in his wallet, Caught him in the dresser and with his pants down. God, man. I mean, I've seen some porn in my day, but nothing like what this guy had. I mean, down to his knees, practically. Are you sure it was the same guy? Oh, yeah. Positive. And the funny thing is, is I saw it half mast. I can't imagine what it looks like, Bridget. His girlfriend probably hits her head on the ceiling trying to climb the top of that thing. And we're not even talking about girth yet. I mean, you could screen a movie on that python. That guy probably ruins women. God bless him. Can we talk about something else? Okay. Like maybe how you sent me to go commit felony robbery, pickpocketing your ex-wife's fiance. I'm sorry. I made a mistake. I was wrong. I feel badly. It won't happen again. Those are my lines. Yeah, I don't mind doing what I did. Hell, I get off on it. What I mind is you lying to me about why I was doing it. Jesus, dude, you make me sound like a girl. What the hell is going on with you anyway? First, you buy Gretchen's house. No, wait, wait, wait. We buy Gretchen's house. Half of that 20 grand was mine, which you took without asking. Now you're running a background check on a new dude? Scale of 9 to 10, how batshit nuts are you right now? Look, I'm just looking out for Gretchen, okay? I don't know this guy. She doesn't know him. She met him six months ago on the internet. I'm just trying to make sure she does the right thing. By stealing his wallet? Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Look, it was wrong, okay? I can't say I'm sorry enough. And thank you again for your half of the deposit. When I get my loan, I'm gonna pay you back with interest. Well, what if you can't get one? How many banks turned you down so far? Three? I'll get it. Yeah, but what happens if you can't? 
we forfeit our deposit. It says here you worked for the Ocean Beach Police Department for nine years. That's right. But you retired one year before you were eligible to receive a pension. Why was that? I left the force for uh, personal reasons, mostly. And, well, personal reasons. There, there are still a lot of people uh, down there that you can call for references. And I've been doing PI work ever since then. Without a license, I see. That's mostly a privacy thing, you know. I mean, once you get a license, the state is kind of looking into everything you do, checking up on you, getting into your records. Much like a mortgage company might. <laughs> Excuse me, Mr. Dalworth? Mm -hmm. Armin Foster, Vice President. I'm sorry about your loan application, but, you know, in the current economic climate, we just can't uh, You guys aren't the first people to turn me down. I know the song and dance. All right. Well, regardless, I was wondering if I might importune you for a few minutes. Why? Well, I heard you the first time. You want to tell me no twice? <laughs> The discussion about your application and picked up that you're a private detective. Sounds like interesting work. What kind of cases do you take on? You're allowed to do that in here? I'm son of the president. I can do anything I want. Do you want one? No. Uh, my partner and I do any number of things. We recover lost property, locate people, private security. We'll jump down, turn around, pick a bill of cotton, you pay us enough. <laughs> um, do you ever handle domestic cases? Marital infidelities, things like that? Happens to be one of our specialties. I'd like you to follow someone for me. Maybe we can help each other. Got your name in the paper, kid. What? Police were alerted to the existence of the sex tape by Henry Dalworth and Britt Pollock. Self-described private investigators in Ocean Beach. What the hell does that mean, self-described? Means you're only that thing because you say you're that thing. Can I bore you yet? Whoa, whoa, no. Uh, I promised my girl I wouldn't touch hard alcohol during work hours. Three, two, boom. Let her rip. That's his fair. Boo! Hey, right, people, sure talk. Let's talk about our childhood. <laughs> oh, you know what this is? Everybody walks if nobody talks. I want to see money clips. I want to see wallets on the bar right in front of you. You know the drill. What are you doing? You don't, you don't pick it up. You make the guy pick it up. Come on. Let's go. Get out. Get out. What are you looking at, dude? Get behind the register. Pull the landline while you're there. Hey, buddy. I'm kind of no see. How you doing? Hey, Gilligan, you done with that yet? Let's get it going. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you. You've all been very cooperative. I'll see you around. I got us a job while I was gone. What the hell did you do? Got robbed. 
So what's this guy's story? Why does he think his wife's cheating on him? He didn't say. He just said that he thought she was, and he wants pictures to prove it. The guy looks like a douche. That he is. We're getting paid for this, right? Yeah. hundred bucks a day. That's it? But he also said if we provide definitive results, we get our home loan. Pull the truck over. What? Pull over. Why? You know, first you take my money. Now you want me to tell a woman for weeks that you can possibly pay me back someday? Look at it as insurance that you'll get your money back. Oh, come on. You're not going to work this thing I got to go home and cancel my credit cards. You don't have credit cards. Then I got to go home and cancel my library cards. You know, at least the guys that robbed me today had the decency to put a gun on my face. I don't have any cash with me. Let me a couple bucks for the bus. Come on, at least let me give you a ride. Hey, you're not answering your phone. I've been trying to reach you. Uh, I got a story about that. Mm -hmm. What's up? Uh, your friend's here. Hank, I just left him. No, um... I'm sorry, I totally spaced your name. That's all right, it's, it's Ray. As in of sunshine. Hey, I was in your neighborhood. I thought I'd swing by. I'm not, I'm not crashing date night or anything, am I? No, actually, it's fine. No, it's good you're here. Ray was telling me how you guys worked together at Casa Verde. Now, you remember our um, glorious dishwashing days? Hey, you want another beer, Ray? Honey, you want one? No, I would love but... one. Yes, thank you, Katie. How the hell did you find me so fast? How the hell do you think? Forty dollars in here. Yeah, no, you did. Nice digs, by the way. In fact, this is the nicest place that I've been in since I got out. Oh, and your your girl let me know that she made enough dinner for three, so um, you don't mind me staying. As long as you're not packing. I left my piece in the car. I'm a dick, but I'm not an asshole. Get out of here, you're a P.I. Come on. What the paper says there. What the hell did that happen? About two years ago, I was um, trying to jimmy my way into this taco joint after hours. You all done with that, babe? Yeah. And uh, Hank spotted me. He used to be a cop. But instead of calling 911, he took me out for waffles. We've been gum chewing together ever since. And obviously, you know what he used to do. Oh, man. I know he never was a dishwasher, can't clean a plate to save his life. Hey! Nah, I know. He used to be a thief. She knows all about him, man. The B&Es, the smashing grabs, everything. Yeah, well, I know everything except who he did it with, because that would break the code. And you're cool with it. Hmm. Shit, I used to hook. She's joking, man. Yeah, I'm cool with it. What am I supposed to be pissed? It's the past. You know, just so long as he never, ever, ever, ever does it again. Ever, ever, ever. Love, man. Screw your shit up. Excuse me, sir? Do, do you have another five? The machine won't take mine. Um, uh, let me check. These machines drive me nuts. Makes you long for the days of the living, breathing garage attendant. It's, uh, modern technology making man obsolete. Happened to my old job. What did you do? I was a microwave oven. Thank you. You're welcome.
You used to be a wild man. Do you miss it at all? Knocking around. Because I got to tell you, the chuckleheads I'm rolling with now, they don't have anything like the skills that you have. Oh, man, I mean, it's like uh, baseball. It comes to there, you got to hang up your hat. You realize you're never going to go pro. Man. You sure? Because I got this new thing right now. It could be really ripe. And I can use a part and who knows the shit. It'd be a really good catch for you. Nah, man. I'm retired. Right, yeah. Great news. Followed your wife all night. There's no evidence of her being unfaithful. <clears throat> she went out and had a glass of wine alone, talked to no one, and then went right straight home to you. She's a really attractive woman, by the way. You're a, quite a lucky man. I'm sorry, is something wrong? I sent you out on a simple task to get one photograph of my wife with another man, and you, you can't even do that. A useless son of a bitch waste of space. Wait, I don't follow. Do you, were you hoping for evidence that she was having That's some... That's none of your concern now, is it, Mr. Dalworth? I know for a fact that my wife had an affair last night with another man, yet somehow you missed that! Thanks for nothing. a hundred dollars compensation what about my loan <laughs> why would i approve a loan to someone so flagrantly inadequate at their profession i agreed to approve your loan if you attain definitive evidence of my wife's adultery which you failed to do show yourself out please okay Hold on, Mr. Foster. Maybe you're right. Maybe I missed something. Let me stay on the case for a few more days. If she slips, I'll catch her. I promise. Let me just keep looking. Figured a hundred bucks was more than I was gonna make sitting on the couch all day. What's wrong? This thing's a lot more complicated than I thought. She's going places to pick up, dude. She's just not picking up any. I had another senior moment yesterday, did I tell you that? What? I found this box of CDs, put away on a shelf, that I don't remember putting away. <laughs> yeah, scoff. You know, it's going to happen to you, man. You're going to be driving home without a thought in mind, and you're going to pull up to the house you lived in 12 years ago. I'm going to drive back to Laughlin? What are you looking for? Pea bottle. Aw, oh, dude, I threw that away. What? Why? Why? Because it was a bottle full of piss in my car. You're supposed to dump it out, not throw it out. Where am I supposed to pee? In a fountain or something? Oh, look. There she goes. Come on. Hey, pretty lady. Ray, what are you doing here? Uh, you mentioned you took classes here. I thought I'd come out and check it out. Are you thinking about becoming a vet? No. But I'm, um... Thinking about it, Ben. Ray, I, I I live with Britt, your old pal. Remember him? Sure, the guy with his balls you cut off, you have him hanging in your rearview mirror. Nice job, by the way. So, um, how'd you guys meet? 
at a bar where I was working, he was drinking. Why? I can tell you a story. Do me a favor. Tell your boy to grow a pair and give me a ring. I don't have all day for him to make up his mind. Hey, coffee house. Okay. How do I find you when I'm done? I'll call you. Someone stole my cell. Just go already. And get me a small drip while you're at it. Whatever. Gretchen Dalworth and Associates. I'm calling you. Okay, well, I can call back then. Stop talking. I need you. Not sure what to do about what you would call in your trade a sensitive matter. Can I steal you for half an hour? Yeah, yeah. Uh, right now is really rotten though. Can I wait till tonight? Yeah. I'll see you at your place. I have the address somewhere. Stop following me. Oh my god, you're that guy. I ask you a question, please. Just leave me alone! Leave me alone! Oh, jeez! Your husband owned a party for all this stuff! Are you okay? Holy sh. No, dude, this is not good. Oh! Ah! Oh, I'm sorry. I am so sorry. Uh, Is that any better? Oh, uh, God, you're fast with that thing. What was it, pepper spray? Mace. Armand bought it a few Christmases ago. I'm sorry I was so trigger happy. What can I do to make it up to you? But you can start by telling us why he's so convinced you're cheating on him. Phew. Because I tell him I am. Why would you do that? Because he asks me to. What, is he some kind of masochist? Diagnostically, yes. He got it into his head to know what it felt to be cuckolded. He demanded that I have an affair with another man and regale him with the details, leaving nothing out, and I acquiesced just for once. Unfortunately, the rush of humiliation was euphoric for Armand. He insisted that I do it again and again, and... I have been faking the affair since that time. So, you're deceiving him about deceiving him. And very successfully, I would boast, until you two came along and blew a hole in my story. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait. You're saying that your husband gets off hearing about you making it with other dudes? Is he out of his gourd? Only desultorily. There are times when... He's as loving and sane as any man I've ever met, which is why I go through with it all. Listen, I'm sorry. No offense, lady, but you kind of sound like a shrink. That's because I was. It's how I met my husband. I, I fell in love with my patient. I quit my practice, and that's my psychosis. Chronic caregiving. You can see how the marriage would work, huh? Maybe I'm the crazy one, but you know the old quote. We all go a little mad sometimes. You said that Freud? Norman Bates. Mm. 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 Oh, 
That's Katie. Hey, baby. Can I ask you a personal question? I should think so, after that confession. Why stay in the marriage if you have to do what you do to keep it alive? Because I love my husband, Mr. Dalworth. Hank. And I love booze, but I know if I drink it, it'll kill me. Maybe I'm a little bit like my husband. Maybe I thrive on pain. Isn't that part of the allure of love? You let someone in you know will hurt you and make you feel alive. No, 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 no. I'm I'm coming there. Hey, I need the truck now. Okay. Are you okay? What happened? That was there when I walked in. There's no one here. I've checked. Did you check everywhere? Yes, Britt, I've checked. Why would Ray come see me like that? Because he wants me to come work with him again. He asked how we met. Why, why would he ask that? He's trying to appeal to the part of me that doesn't stop to think, and you bet your ass I'm going to kill him when I find him. Just a few more steps, okay? I'm taking you to the couch. Oh, I'm good, I'm good. Just uh, be careful of that box down there. Which box? Oh, there... Wow, there was one right there. Do you need anything? Can I get you a glass of water? Maybe just a player piano for the corner. So this is why you were following me. It's charming. I adore what you're doing with the wall. There's still a hole in there, right? I'm not that senile yet. So now what? Now I go home to my husband and confess my fidelity, as it were. I could try and persuade him to grant you the loan, if you like, but I very much doubt he'll ever trust me about anything again. How do you think he's going to react? I don't know. Are you scared? Yes. Have you considered not confessing? I thought it was too late for that. Not if I tell him a tale. He would say if your marriage and me my home. Well, that sounds preferable. What do I have to do? Get laid. So what do you think? It's appropriately utilitarian. I think it's clean? I hope so. I have my honeymoon here. Not really. No, not really. Okay, this is your date. And apparently he brought along his girlfriend and uh, their dog. What happened? Your landlord couldn't make it? I'll explain later. Come on, smile, man. No, real. Good, good. Cheer up, brother. You are about to get lucky. Hey, I need to talk to you. There's this guy I used to know who's threatening to tell Katie something. And something I don't want her to know. Why not? Well, I, because it's true. I, I just, I just, I can't figure out how to get this guy to piss off. My advice to you, tell her before he can. They always find out anyway. Hey, what's this guy got on you? Guys, eyes on faces. Hello again. Howdy. Okay. I'm gonna go outside and shoot through the window. So whenever you're comfortable, you two just uh, go ahead. Um, Katie. Oh, uh, I'm gonna stay in here and, and direct. Yeah, Britt likes it when I give direction. I would hope so. Oh, it's 
can make one hell of a Christmas card. This man she's with. What can you tell me about him? He was waiting for her when she got there. I assume it wasn't their first time together. And where was this? Some flea bag flop house on Channel Road. I spoke to the manager. He told me your wife had been a regular there the last few months. Mr. Foster, we had an arrangement that if I caught your wife in the act, you would help me with... Yes, um... I've been going over your loan application, and I think we can accommodate you, Mr. Dalworth. I'll get papers started. You come by here tomorrow morning, I'll have them ready to be signed. Pleasure doing business with you, sir. Go that way. Yeah. Necesito una pistola, cabrón. Debe estar limpia. No, 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 no. Sin balas. Órale. You guys gonna be okay here? Yeah, of course. TV works. Bed vibrates. We'll be great. All right. I'll be back in a couple hours. Hey, good looking. Hey. Is this a good time? Yeah, sure. Come on, come in. Uh, Jason, this is Hank Dalworth. Hank, Jason Adler. Nice to meet you, finally. Uh, likewise, yeah. Wow. Uh, hey, this is a uh, surprise. Yeah. Well, um, the problem I mentioned earlier sort of concerns him. Oh, um, we brought you a housewarming gift. A new bath mat. I noticed the old one was getting a little gross. Fantastic. We got some, uh... uh take out. Didn't know if you'd eaten yet. I hadn't. So, this is good. Let's, uh, go into the kitchen and I'll try and scare up some plates. Mr. Of Sunshine himself. So, uh, how pissed are you? Piss you think. Beer? Something is sorry is not gonna cut it. So I needed to get your attention and making with the please and pretty please wasn't really working. You broke up my house. You visited my girl at her school. What were you gonna do next to get my attention? Take a shit on my pillow? She might dig that. Was she full of questions? We had a huge fight because of you. Bert, why is Ray coming to see me? Why is he smoking in our living room? Why does he keep asking me how we met? Look, you just ignore her for like a week and you take her out to a nice dinner, maybe you go down on her a little bit. She'll be so grateful she'll never ask another question. Now, let's talk about the future. No, I know. I've, uh... I, I took a look once, and, um... Unfortunately, there's not a lot you can do about it short of tearing the roof down. So, uh, Gretch tells me that's what you, uh... You do, you're an architect? Yep. It's, uh... Fun, but once it becomes what you do for a living, then it's... You know, it's what you do for a living, so... I know that beat. I hate to spoil the party, but we did come here for a reason. Besides the Thai food in the bath mat. Right. Uh, Hank, I have a weird problem. Someone keeps screwing with my credit, and I don't know how. Really? Yeah, last couple of days there have been charges on my card, things like professional escorts and skeezy motel rooms. I mean, no biggie, I froze my card. But then today, I get pulled over by a cop. 
and for some reason my driver's license has been revoked. That is weird. Yeah, so anyway, Gretchen thought you could help. I mean, my wallet hasn't been stolen, it's just they seem to have all my info. And I would pay you, of course. So. Hey, I'll look into it. A buddy of mine patrols this gated community. He knows exactly who's home and who's away on any given night. Plus, who makes a better lookout than a security guard? What do you think? I think my girl would kill me if she knew. I also think I could use the money. My partner of late has been douching me, so... Hey, whatever, man. I'm good at this. Let's do it. When's it happen? This Friday. Dark of the moon. What's this shit? It's my piece. Yeah, I know it's your piece. It's been bulging out all night. What'd you bring it for? You never used to carry heat. Hey, neither did you. Answer the question. Why'd you bring the piece? Bro, so I can cap your ass so my girl don't find out dirty, ugly secrets about me. <laughs> you know, I was wrong. Your girl didn't completely deball you. But next time, you might want to put some bullets in it. It works better that way. Whatever you say, boss. Great, what'd you forget now, Gretch, huh? My last shred of human dignity. Hi. I, uh, just wanted to thank you. You saved my marriage. Why does that sound like it's not a good thing? I'm sorry, you have people for dinner? Oh, no, no, they're gone. Just, uh, just my ex and her, uh, fiancé. That's not awkward. Only brutally. I see. <laughs> so what happened? I recounted our afternoon to Armand as we'd planned. And his suspicions are abated. But? Next time, he wants to watch. I'm sorry, Mrs. Foster, and I hope you don't mind me saying this, but your husband is a creep. And I don't care if the man's sick. Because the man is sick. I love him. And he's killing me. I feel paralyzed. I... Knowing I should move on and... Unwilling to give up hope. I know that feeling. You strike me as a very sweet man. I'm glad somebody thinks so. Very sweet. And very broken.
Thanks for cleaning up. Hey, Phil. Yeah, I What a little bait. Uh, how about a plate of eggs and a tab, please? You don't make tab anymore. Don't I know it. How about a Coke? Yep. Yeah, I'm here. Well, sooner rather than later, I gotta get out by 10. All right, later, Britt. Where's Britt today? He's, uh, elsewhere. All right, everybody, you remember the drill. Let's go. Wallets, cell phones on the floor. Pockets inside out. Come on. Come on, you already hit us this week. Shut him, doofy dog. Open the register. This is the guy that got you Tuesday? Come on, pal. Even Jesus waited. Shut up. Get out, man. Jeez, Hank, you could have been killed. No, that guy was amateur hour. Are you gonna call 911? I got his prints right here. It's me, baby, open up! We're all good, baby. He's going back to prison. What'd you do? Round the bar. Mr. Foster, hi. Mr. Dalworth. You said uh, you'd have my papers ready this morning? I did. They're right there. So, we just signed these and that's that? You may. I won't. But I prefer you shove them up your ass. You lied to me, Mr. Dalworth. Late last night as I was waiting for my wife to return from her assignation... I did due diligence on your loan application. In other words, I googled you. It's funny, the print edition didn't include a photo. It's hysterical. I hate that picture. What a coincidence to find out that my wife's lover should be your partner. I confronted Miriam, and she confessed the whole thing was a ruse designed by the both of you to bilk me. Apologies, Mr. Dalworth. Here at Foster and Son Mortgage Brokerage, our policy forbids lending to frauds. Did you hurt her? I'm a masochist, not a sadist. I told her what I'll tell you. Get out. So you're leaving her? What part of there's the door needs repeating? Mr. Foster, we had a deal. You said if I could provide definitive proof of your wife's infidelity, you'd approve my home loan, correct? You failed. Cheated. Goodbye. Is that correct? Yes. Go ahead and smell my finger. You recognize that scent? You should. How about this, huh? This handwriting? Is that familiar to you? Or this tidbit. Miriam, she has a mole an inch below her ass on her upper thigh. And she's waxed and she keeps it in a tight rectangle. And when she comes, she laughs like a ten-year-old. And she laughed a lot last night. You want a definitive proof of your wife's infidelity? Well, here's a first-person testimonial, man. I banged the shit out of your wife three times last night. So why don't you go ahead and sign my goddamn loan doc? Includes our business. Mr. Dalworth, please know that once you go through that door, I never want to lay eyes on you again.
Looks like you're gonna have to lay eyes on me again. You forgot to sign the title insurance policy page. Good to be home. Katie, I need to tell you something. Oh, no, you don't. You know, I do. It's, um... It's about the night we met. In the bar. Really? You don't need to say anything. It wasn't the first time I saw you. No? I, I mean, it was, it was the first time I saw you, but I had um, seen pictures of you before. On your refrigerator. Oh, boy. Remember how the week before your apartment got busted into and someone stole your CD player and your TV? It was you. And Ray. Ray took the stuff. I, I just, uh... Yeah. I'm, so, I'm sorry. You just, you just happened to walk into my bar the next week? I saw your pictures. I thought you were cute. I, I went through your stuff and um, I found a pay stub for the tavern. I thought I'd stop by. The important thing to remember is, is that is that this is the last place that I robbed. From the minute I met you, I stopped doing. This is a. a that's a violation. I mean, I can I forgive you for what you've done, but it, you lied to me. Like ever since we met, you lied. No, I haven't. I just I haven't been telling you the truth. Don't say anything, Katie. I... Don't say anything. Just get out. When you get outside, wait five minutes for me to get undressed. Break in through the bedroom, I'll be waiting. Is that a word? I did, and, um, I'm sorry. Thank you. Um, I, I should linger. There are people here, and there's so many things to do. I know. I just wanted to come by and say I'm sorry, and uh, that you shouldn't blame yourself. Oh, yes, I should. I drove him to this. No, you didn't. 
he realized our lie this morning, I told him everything, and he knew that I'd been lying to him for months. I know. I, I saw him earlier today. What did you say to him? I needed the loan, Miriam. Thank you. 